Hello Sagittarius, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your general reading. We're gonna see what messages need to come through from my Sagittarius Collective, any major Sag placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I ask that you please only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. This reading is timeless. So whenever you're guided to watch it, there's likely going to be a message in here for you. But let's jump in, Sag, and we're going to start um, with the Quantum Oracle deck. We're going to get you a few messages from this deck, and then we're going to jump in with some tarot, and we'll close off the reading with some messages from Spirit. So <sighs> loving man, oh my God, kindred partnership, milestone. So you might have somebody wanting to come in with an offer and they're looking at you as their person. A lifetime partnership here and this is feeling very good. I kind of feel you're reaching a milestone moment in your life. And somebody's trying to find the courage to come in and hope that they're deserving of your love is kind of what I'm feeling. So I feel a loving man here that's kind of at the crossroads needing to make a decision when it comes to perhaps coming forward with a love offer. And it's kind of feeling like an ace of cups, a brand new beginning in love, two becoming one. So get ready for an event or a shakeup coming up here or a love offer coming in for my Sag Collective. And somebody's getting ready um, to come forward with a lot of gratitude is what I'm feeling. I kind of feel um, maybe one or both of you have been going through a profound life transformation when it comes to closing out some old cycles and Maybe you've been feeling stuck at this midway point for quite some time, but I feel this energy of crossing the threshold, mending a bridge of some sort. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but I always feel Scorpio with that transformation card. But I'm feeling like a brand new beginning in love, maybe after a period of shedding some negative vices. Yeah, I think somebody's getting ready to travel towards you and maybe showing up at your door with a bag packed saying, hey, let's have a weekend getaway or something. It's feeling really good, but let's see what needs to come through for you, Sag. What does my Sagittarius Collective need to be aware of when it comes to these energies? I just saw the honoring path, so I think it's about integrity, personal boundaries, and travel. Somebody traveling towards you after going through a profound life transformation, getting ready to take those steps to set those intentions for a clean slate is what I'm feeling. A brand new adventure. A brand new adventure, a clean slate. It's feeling really nice. So this is either your energy or somebody traveling towards you, but I feel closing out all of these past cycles, shedding all of these negative vices and getting ready to step into the light. So... I kind of feel somebody is preparing to take some steps to set some intentions when it comes to building a foundation with you. And maybe this is a relationship that will also lead to a creative business adventure as well. I kind of feel you're resonating at this very high vibration, Sag, and it's feeling a little bit like Cinderella going to the ball. And maybe the time is now for this transformation to take place. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. You got somebody that's got a lot of passion for you, I feel. Could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries Sag. Because below the King of Fire, we do have the Strength card with the Ace of Pentacles. So a brand new abundant beginning, a brand new exciting opportunity. Maybe the two of you will be signing a lucrative soul contract coming up here. Maybe even purchasing a home together. But I think an amazing opportunity is coming forward for my Sagittarius Collective. And somebody's trying to find their strength to be bold and courageous and to take action. Because I think somebody's got a lot of passion for you. And maybe this was a missed opportunity in the past. Maybe this was a lesson in shedding all of these negative energies out of both of your lives. And maybe in the past, things didn't turn out the way that you both anticipated. Forgiveness is going to be needed, I think. Um, acceptance and understanding that everything happens for a reason. And if you had to go into this five of cups of prolonged grieving over a missed opportunity, maybe somebody went towards some third party energy, people, places, or things. It doesn't have to be another person, but... There was definitely a blessing in disguise when it comes to some prolonged grieving is kind of what I'm feeling because maybe this was to get you to close out a major life lesson, a major life lesson coming full circle. The world could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, 
but I feel that Five of Cups really was a, was a time of spiritual enlightenment for profound transformation. But I feel a cycle winding to close. And somebody is preparing to, to take steps to maybe close out something with you. And they've been losing sleep. They've been having nightmares. They've been expecting the worst when it comes to bringing in an offer. And this worry, I feel, has grown out of proportion. And somebody knows uh, it's kind of time to take those action steps. Yeah, somebody's stressed right out about coming in with a with a romantic offer. I think somebody's recently fallen in love with you and they want to come in and sweep you off your feet, Sag. And they've been losing sleep about coming in with this offer because I think you make their heart flutter with love. And in the past, I think there was a lack of balance. So water energy. Somebody's coming in with an apology, a cup of love, an offer of some sort. Because they're kind of hitting that rock bottom. And maybe this transformation was to get you both to go into some deep inner child healing. To stand up for what is right. So somebody's coming in to protect what they feel is theirs. And I feel they, they look at you as their person. And, you know, they've not wanted to take action. Either they've been unwilling or unable to make a decision to follow their own heart rather than maybe trying to people please the people that they've been connected with but i think somebody's coming in they're they're ready to stand up for what what it is that they believe in and i think maybe in the past they had their walls up they had their heart closed off to this new adventure but it's definitely going to lead to a union of some sort so let's see what needs to come through for you sag what else does sagittarius need to be aware of when it comes to this transformative energy coming through Yeah, there's definitely been withholding of, of taking some steps forward. Um, there's been withholding of action, and I think maybe you've had to be very patient when it comes to a foundation, because I feel this is, a, this is a connection where the two of you will be able to build a legacy together, and maybe a connection where you're going to pass on the knowledge that you've gained from this transformation, but... There's definitely been like an extreme withholding of communication, withholding of emotions, and a lack of choosing the right direction. So dead central energy is the lovers. You very well could be dealing with a Gemini. That would be your opposite. And this is about a foundation. This is about a spiritual union that will bring a lot of peace and contentment into your personal life. So... Uh, get ready for somebody to make an unexpected choice in love to come towards you. And I think you've been very patient. And I think this has been a very long-standing burden. And it's it's been a time of quiet meditation, meaningful solitude uh, before taking action. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that's been experiencing some health issues or recovering from an illness of some sort before taking action. But we got 10, 10, 10 now. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So an ending that is leading to a new beginning, a major life transition, a major cycle. And there's been withholding. And maybe somebody in the past, Gemini, kind of likes to look at things as black and white. And Sag is this very expansive um, blending of these energies. So the first energy out is the Temperance, the Balance card. That's your energy. We do get the Three of Wands. And there's been withholding, taking action with the Four of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, which is that spiritual union. The Ten of Wands, releasing a burden after going within and learning a lesson about maybe some past betrayal with the Ten of Swords. So I kind of feel you're really balanced in your energy right now. And you're ready to create something extra, extra special extraordinary and i kind of feel this place of resolution like successful compromise between you and your person and maybe you've embraced self-control and patience while you've gotten yourself into a state of balance and this is triggering somebody needing to take action before this opportunity sails away when it comes to planning for long-term abundance long-term stability and and I feel somebody maybe in the past was playing into pride and ego, was not willing to share their resources, their emotions, or or any communication with you. And maybe it was to the extreme. But I feel um, it's kind of time to make that smart decision and to see things from that higher perspective. Because I feel a connection here that will bring you a lot of financial security for yourself and your family. 
and um and i feel a lot of peace and contentment and somebody is getting ready to make the unexpected choice in love the lovers is always a choice between two and so maybe somebody in the past went towards you know a karmic cycle that needed to be um closed out once and for all and i feel somebody is getting ready to embrace true love and to make that decision from the heart space in order to recover from something that maybe has been holding them back maybe they were stuck in a foundation where there was uh, a lot of struggles and a lot of sadness and a lot of grief but i feel this huge release of a long-standing burden a conscious release knowing that it's time for balance in this situation if you want to release any health problems due to stress because somebody has been going inside and spending time in meaningful solitude with the hermit Virgo energy. And maybe you've been this, this example of shining a light on all of these negative vices and being that example for your person in order to speak, in order to seek out some self discovery when it comes to, you know, a very uh, betraying situation in the past. So maybe this person did backstab you in the past. And maybe there was a period of sadness and grieving because maybe at one point you saw this as a new opportunity for happiness and somewhere along the lines, maybe one or both of you got off track, but I feel it's kind of time to get a weight off your shoulders to release a long-standing burden if you want to close out a cycle and to embrace this brand new emotional experience. So definitely, I, I feel your person is getting ready to walk away from a very dissatisfying situation where they've been under the veil of illusion, they've been playing into fear, not listening to their intuition, playing into all of this unnecessary worry when it comes to moving on from something that's really created a lot of dissatisfaction. And I think your person is seeking more from life than what they've been experiencing, and they're on a spiritual quest for a brand new emotional experience with you. When we get to the eight, um, we're in search of wish fulfillment. So we got the eight and, and the ace, which equals the nine, wish fulfillment. So I feel get ready for a romantic relationship from the past to creep up in order to deepen something that maybe never really got off the ground. I feel an awakening of what home really means to your person. And they've definitely been playing into their fears, their shadow, their ego self. And I feel your person's about to get a wake-up call, a revelation that's going to make everything crystal clear when it comes to bringing balance back into a situation that likely was very unjust. So there's going to be a win-win outcome here. And I feel your person is getting ready to come from a place of integrity. And maybe they were not honest in the past. Maybe there was lies. Maybe there was um, addictions that your person needed to release as part of this self-discovery, but I feel an opportunity to work together for sure, a new creative endeavor. And yes, this is your wishes coming true. Your dreams are becoming a reality. So I think you're just being asked to have faith right now. So let's look at this temperance as balance because that's your energy. The star, queen of swords, two of swords maybe you're the one creating the blocks but i feel you're standing firm in your boundaries i also feel you've been deeply hurt in the past and maybe you had to finish closing out a divorce of some sort in order for this person to come in but i feel you've released a lot of people places and things that were not serving your higher purpose and i kind of feel you're blocking anybody from coming in if they don't come from a place of integrity truth and honesty so i kind of feel you've gone through this deep level of healing sage and you've been manifesting your dreams and they are coming true you very well could be dealing with an aquarius or like i said an air sign gemini libra aquarius so i think positive change is on the horizon sage and we're ending all of these challenging times and i think you're about to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I kind of feel um, there's still a little bit of blocks that need to be worked through. Um, maybe your person was unwilling to choose in the past or they made a wrong choice and they didn't follow their heart, they followed their head and maybe they've gotten themselves into a people-pleasing situation and they've been overanalyzing, losing sleep when it comes to standing up for this connection. Um, 
but I feel your person is ready to challenge those that have created blocks when it comes to coming in with this love offer because they are planning for the long-term future and they are coming in seeking resolution from some past choices that were likely made in pride and ego. So let's see what this Four of Pentacles is about. Ego, <laughs> strength. Definitely somebody holding back, holding back, coming in with an offer. Because somebody wants to come in with a stable offer, loyal, dedicated, optimistic, enthusiastic. And maybe they've been in a period of planning, planning to take action and, you know, maybe playing into some ego, some pride and some ego, Leo energy, Virgo energy. But I feel get ready to receive a new exciting offer of some sort that will lead to it possibly a new creative endeavor. And I feel this person's coming in loyal dedicated, protective, and he knows you're going to be apprehensive. They know you're going to be apprehensive when it comes to them coming in, taking action. And I feel maybe your person was just in like this holding cell when it comes to taking action, waiting for the perfect time. But I feel um, compassion and forgiveness is what is going to be needed. And I think somebody's realizing now what they lost um, and what they want to have back in their life, because I do feel a, a deep spiritual bond here and perhaps the resurgence of a past romantic relationship, seeking forgiveness in order to release the struggles and the challenges, because maybe your person feels that you gave up on them and that you, you moved away. You're not looking back. And now this person does not want you to give up on them. They want to bring healing into a situation. They want a renewal and a revival after reviewing the past and their decisions, knowing that it's time to head towards you because... They've received clarity of what is truly in their heart, and I think they know now what it is that they need to do. So let's look at this lovers, because the lovers is always a choice between two. So maybe your person had to make a choice between two, and I feel they've been through the war zone. They've definitely been through it, and... Uh, you know, maybe it was a battle between, you know, stability and passion. Maybe they were in a situation purely for financial stability. Like I said, tens are endings that lead to new beginnings. And maybe your person's been in a foundation that's financially secure, but there's no love there. There's no passion there. And maybe they fear losing this financial security, but I think everything's going to turn out all right. There's definitely victory and success here, and I think your person is choosing to come in to be that support for you, and they're getting ready to communicate clearly just how much passion they have for you. I think they look at you as inspiring, ambitious. Maybe you're in the spotlight. Maybe you're a public speaker of some sort, Sag, but I feel your person in the past was very sensitive to any amount of criticism, likely playing into pride and ego, materialism, and greed with the Four of Pentacles. But they're ready to they're ready to come in for victory and success, likely after facing a lot of conflicting challenges. They want to do what's right is what I'm feeling. And I and I think, yeah, there was this feeling of ghosting, abandonment, being left out in the cold, and maybe you both had to come back into balance after sifting through a lot of negative thought processes, facing a lot of real challenges, and maybe there's been fear around money, is kind of what I'm feeling. And maybe in the past it was just poor timing. So let's look at this Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Because somebody's been going within, um, receiving some illumination about some third-party interference. And definitely about a very unwise choice that was made in the past. So I think your person in the past did lack some integrity. And they had very questionable motives. And they know now that there's a better way. They took a gamble, and I think they went in the wrong direction. They went towards a third party, and maybe there's a lot of gossip and people talking about this person coming in because, yeah, your person's definitely regretting that, that third party interference. I think your person's been in a state of deep grief and sadness over, you know, this past decision and not being able to let you go. And I think this has created all kinds of personal growth with these challenges. And I feel your person really wants to come in and heal a long-standing misunderstanding because tense is like, hey, we've been doing this for a long, long time. So uh, your person wants to come in and finally be there for you because they've definitely um, had an awakening or an illumination of some sort 
definitely an epiphany about, hey, it's time to come in with that offer, that apology, if I don't want to miss out on this magical opportunity. And they're hoping that everything will work out perfectly. So definitely somebody wants you to fall in love with them again. They want to sweep you off your feet. I think get ready for a sudden love affair to come in. Somebody's going to be making a very unexpected choice in love that they've thought long and hard about. They've been thinking and thinking thinking about this for a very long time. And maybe they see you as a spiritual mentor, as this lighthouse, as this guiding light um, when it comes to making their heart flutter because your person's definitely getting a major wake-up call. Could be dealing with a Leo water sign but they're going through an awakening and they've been in this temporary pause for reflection when it comes to getting this new insight and seeing things in a whole new light that broader perspective so uh definitely um some healing when it comes to this past regret so let's just take one last look here at this hermit because they've definitely learned a valuable lesson oh my god yes about taking a leap of faith towards what will be grounded, stable, and solid. They see you as, as their empress. And we did get the emperor with the fool and the two of wands. So definitely a deep spiritual connection here, a divine union. And you're dealing with a masculine that's ready to boss up and take the lead when it comes to a negative situation. They're ready to do what it takes to release that fear and to take a leap of faith. They're getting structured and disciplined in their thoughts and they're getting ready to come in. They're using their logic, they're getting organized, and they're ready to take those next steps towards a brand new beginning in love with you is what I'm feeling. A brand new start. Trust. Have faith, Sag, because your person is pushing their fears aside, ready to take a leap of state, leap of faith, and to take those steps forward. They've been sitting at the crossroads and they've not been willing to partner with you or to share these dreams with you up until now. And as you continue to move forward, I feel they feel you slipping further and further away and they kind of know it's time to take action towards this empress because they see you as the epitome of unconditional love and I do feel a new creative project that the two of you are going to work on together and it will create a lot of success abundance and prosperity so I think your person is trying to be practical as to how to proceed towards you uh, finding that sensible approach um, we got we got a true pair on the board now so the king and queen of pentacles are business owners. They're practical, they're stable, they're grounded. And the emperor and the empress build empires together. So I feel a spiritual mission here of some sort. And your person is preparing to walk away from confusion, delusions, and to release these challenging times. I think things are about to look up. Relief is around the corner. And if you've been going through a period of prolonged depression or grieving, um, peace is on the way because your person is, is planning to travel or to relocate and they're finally ready to make a choice. They want to stop procrastinating. They're done over analyzing and they've gotten clarity on what it is that they desire in order to move forward. And maybe in the past, your person had a lot of options. Maybe they were exploring all kinds of different op options and I feel you've both been on this journey to balance and harmony when it comes to open-hearted, uh, trustworthy communication. So I do feel this person is going to be somebody you can trust. And maybe in the past you couldn't trust them because they were playing into manipulative behaviors. But I think they've learned a valuable lesson. And they're getting ready to step up and to boss up in order to bring balance back into a situation, Sag. So get ready for an offer, a well-intentioned offer. But let's get you a couple last messages from spirit uh, when it comes to this message, honesty. I think there was a lot of lies, there was a lot of secrets, there was some things that you didn't really know were going on and I think get ready for some very harsh truth. And I think the truth is gonna hurt, but it's going to um, break you free from whatever lies kept the two of you separate from one another. So I feel your person's getting ready to be accountable and to take responsibility at this time and to come forward with some truth is kind of what I'm feeling, yeah. So this was definitely a necessary transition that needed to happen in order for this transformation to take place. And your person is so grateful to know you and to have you in their life. And they look at you as a gift to their heart. So get ready for a redo. Mercury retrograde is all about redos. And I think the both of you are going to be given a chance to do something completely over again, clean slate. But you're going to have to approach things differently. 
And the outcome will likely bring a lot of happiness and prosperity, Sag. And that's what I've got for you. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below, Sagittarius. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.